Dynamic Link is one of the most useful tool in Premiere Pro because it lets you move projects between Premiere Pro and After Effects without having to export or render files manually every time. So here's how to do Dynamic Link in Premiere Pro. The first thing that you want to do is duplicate your video layer. And to do that, just highlight your clips, hold Alt, and drag your clip upward to create a copy. We do this because Dynamic Link merges your video into a single composition once it opens up in After Effects. So having a backup, make sure you can always go back to your original video if needed. Also, when doing the Dynamic Link, make sure that the clips you're linking includes the audio track, okay? Because if you don't include it before using Dynamic Link, then your After Effects composition won't have any audio, okay? So to access Dynamic Link, we just highlight the duplicated layer and we also highlight the audio, right click, and then replace with After Effects composition. It's up to you if you want to include the audio. But for me, I always include the audio so that I can hear what's on the video. Now, the next thing it's going to do is open up After Effects. And it's going to prompt you where to save your After Effects folder. So I'm just going to save my dynamic link file here real quick. Once that's done, as you can see, it has now opened up our After Effects workspace and it has included our clips and our audio. Now what happened here is we have now linked our clips here and our audio into the dynamic link AEP. And this is where the magic happens. So let's say I want to add a square here on my left side and I just create a square. And if I go back to my Premiere Pro, it will automatically do the changes in After Effects in Premiere Pro as well, as long as I am in this dynamic click. So if I move it to the right, it's also going to move to the right. Now this is going to be a much more efficient workflow so you don't have to manually render your animations in After Effects, put it in Premiere Pro. It can all happen at the same time with the help of Dynamic Click. Now, just a reminder, if you have your After Effects closed and you want to create another new Dynamic Link, make sure that your saved file is opened up because if it's not opened up, it's basically going to create a new it's basically going to open up a new save file. As you can see, I don't have my dynamic link file open up. So it's going to ask me to create a new file. Okay. But if I have my dynamic link open up. So my dynamic link file is open up now. And if I create a new dynamic link, then it's going to put that um, dynamic link into my saved file. Okay. So yeah, that's how to use Dynamic Link. Hope this helps. Make sure to watch the next video to improve your editing skills. I'll see you on the other side. Cheers.